Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Prime Update on Ben Television. My name is Ojinika. I'm at the stories trending. The federal government has submitted 4.5 trillion naira for 2014 budget proposal to the floor of the Nigeria House of Representatives. The coordinating minister of the economy, Dr. Ngozi Okonjewala, laid a document on the table before the House members during the plenary presided over by Honorable Amin Tambowal. Speaking to newsmen in Abuja after the submission of a budget, Okonjo Wala said that aggregate expenditure of 3.73 trillion naira was expected as revenue. She, however, said the Shopee Fund was not part of the estimated budget, while putting the capital expenditure at about 1.1 trillion naira, which she said is about 27% of the budget. Now, in terms of total amount, the aggregate expenditure, excluding uh, of the Shopee, is 4.6. 42 trillion naira and uh, federal government budget uh, expected revenue is 3.73 trillion naira. The, the fiscal deficit is 1.9% uh, of GDP, just slightly up from last year, which was 1.85% from last year's budget. On the Shopee, yes, I have an idea. If you just give me a moment so I make sure I get the numbers right. I believe that the Shopee budget is uh, about 268.37 billion uh, naira for the federal government. The capital budget is 1.1 trillion naira. It's about 27% of the budget and the recurrent is about 72%. Uh, Both chambers agreed to leave the oil benchmark at $77.5 per barrel ending weeks of this agreement. The initial proposed 2014 budget presentation date was shifted by the Nigerian president due to the delay by the Senate and the House of Representatives in reaching common grounds on the benchmark. National Association of Nigerian Traders, NANS, have hailed the cassava bread initiative of the federal government, saying it would not only save foreign exchange, it would also create jobs and reduce poverty and unemployment among youths. The national president, Nance Ken Okonha, said this at a public presentation of the report of his monitoring exercise of the policy in Abuja, noting that Nigerians will further buy into the initiative when the quality and price is good. Okonha pointed out for, that for the policy to succeed, there is need for increased awareness, especially at the grassroots. We conducted this study. We went both at the corporate, you know, to the corporate bakers as well as the local bakers to find out the level of appreciation, the level of usage, the level of adoption. But 89% of the corporate bakers that are looking towards the direction of cassava in flour. The cassava bread initiative was introduced by government as a way of cutting down on the importation of wheat, which analysts say cost Nigeria hundreds of millions of naira to import. As part of the resolution reached at a meeting between the federal government and the leadership of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, an implementation monitoring committee on the reports of the needs assessments of the Nigerian universities has been constituted. The secretary to the government of the federation, uh, Senator Anyam Pius Anyam, said the committee was strategic and timely to consolidate and add new energy to the speedy and complete implementation of the recommendations of the Committee on Needs Assessment of Nigerian Universities. He said this would hasten the process and backed upon to revamp and reposition the nation's education sector while charging the committee members to remain patriotic and approach the assignment with zeal and seriousness he deserves. To the chairman and members of this committee, I urge you to remain very patriotic and approach the assignment with the zeal and seriousness it deserves. You must ensure value for money, as well as insist on complete and faithful implementation of the programs and projects in the need assessment report. The Supervising Minister of Education, Nyeson Wike, said with the inauguration of the committee, government has fulfilled one of the promises made saying it would look into the implementation of the needs. Wike, who heads the committee, assured that the work will be done diligently because Nigerians were interested in how the funds were going to be utilized. Nigerians expect that 
the funds released by the federal government to these universities who want to monitor and know whether these funds allocated are being utilized the way they are supposed to be utilized. This is not a fund that is coming out from the normal budget, but the fund given by the federal government for the intervention uh, because of agreement with uh, ASU. So I want to say on behalf of the committee, we are going to carry this work diligently, effectively to the interests of Nigerians and for the treatment of our universities. Some members of the committee are representative of the SGF, Finance, and UC, that formed to representative of pro chancellors, vice chancellors, ASU, SANU, NASU, NANS, and Professor Mahmoud Yakobo, former se executive secretary of TET Fund, as technical consultant. That's the much we can take on this edition of Prime Update. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ujinika Madim. Bye for now.